So good morning, you guys, or good afternoon. It's Sunday afternoon right now, and I am doing, or trying to do, because this is my third take, we'll see if this goes through, um, on an idea that has been going through my head. So a few years ago, I had this idea about my Pandora app. I had Pandora Music app, and what I started to notice was by a, by a, a process of thumbs up and thumbs down, I generally got only the music I wanted to listen to. I had been able to, to um, restrict this down <laughs> with positive and negative to where I only got the music that I wanted to listen to, and it was so great. And in fact, I almost did this with Facebook. I noticed that um, through a process of just stuff coming on my screen that I didn't like, you know, bam, 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 I don't want that, no, 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 no. And it was down to I only got <laughs> the information that I wanted to hear. And what's coming to mind for me right now is, is when President Obama was talking about us in our information bubbles. Well, I guess I'm an information bubble freak. <laughs> I'm, I'm in my little bubble. Anyway, so the other day, my son and I, were, we were talking about, about accidents. We were talking about, I was, I was just putting it out there that if, if everything is energy, then how come when we hit each other, like say in a car accident, why do we crash? Like if it's energy, is there any way to have it where our energy kind of moves into each other and away from each other in a way that doesn't cause harm? And he was saying to me, no, and he, he went on and he, um, in his usual way, because he's really, really, really smart, and he was talking about the law of inertia, and we were, so we went and we got, like, so I got a, a feather and a rock, <laughs> but it, we didn't do it with the feather and a rock, we, we did this experiment with a, a rock and a, and a quarter, but even when I drop both of these at the same time, they both like literally hit the desk. I'm gonna see if I can put this down a bit so you can see. Okay, so I, I'm gonna drop these at exactly the same time and they, they actually hit at the same time even though, you know, a feather we, we think is lighter than a rock. At least it seems that way, right? Okay. So, I have been talking about how I collect, I collect rocks that are shaped like hearts. I have a whole bowl of them on my desk, but these aren't even all of them. I, I have like, all of these rocks, and when I go on my hikes, which I went on today, so I went on my hike today, and, um, and I started to wonder, are there really more heart-shaped rocks than there used to be? Okay, so here's one hypothesis. There are more heart-shaped rocks today than there were in the past. Okay, number two, I'm noticing them. <laughs> I'm noticing that there are more heart-shaped rocks than I have ever, that I noticed in the past. Um, number three, <laughs> like, and, and this is very, very esoteric, so bear with me. The rocks know that I love them, <laughs> and so they change their shape into a, a heart, hoping that I will pick them up. Um, but anyway, so today, I, um, I, you can kind of see the heart in that one. It has like a fracture, which is something that I find interesting that rocks have fractures. And then, and then I, I got like this one looks like a heart. Um, sometimes I know it's a bit of a stretch, um, but I was like finding all of these heart-shaped rocks.
But here's the thing. When it's quantum, more than one thing can be true at the same time. So, <laughs> perhaps it can be true that there are more heart-shaped rocks. Secondly, um, that I am more aware of the heart-shaped rocks. And three, perhaps the rocks are turning themselves into hearts so that I will pick them up. I'm actually kind of kidding with that one, but I'm not really sure. It, the verdict is still out on that one. I'm not sure about the turning into a rock. But by the process of the universe, like giving to us what we desire as a process like the Pandora, the Pandora, my station, the way that I was able to do the thumbs up, thumbs up, and have almost a constant stream of the music that I wanted to listen to. What is happening for me now is I am starting to see, I really, really love numbers. Those of you who have been following me for a while know that I, I and I had no idea how much I liked numbers until I just started having these numbers coming at me pretty consistently, like 11s come at me really consistently, the number one, um, 11s, 11, 11. Uh, like I would go to a restaurant and I would order and the total would be 11, 11. <laughs> it was just so weird. And uh, this started to happen quite a bit. Well, lately I've been looking at license plates and they have been delivering me these triple numbers. These triple numbers. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes this stuff just amazes me so much that it makes me very emotional. So yesterday I was going to meet my friend Kathy. And I'm in my car. And I see a 777 in a license plate. And then on the license plate on the car, right behind the 777 is a 999. <laughs> and I start laughing because, you know, this kind of thing happens. But every single time it happens, I, I'm just amazed. And then I, I got off the topic. And then two minutes later, <laughs> I see another... 777, I mean it was a 999. So on the way, I saw three different license plates with triple numbers. <laughs> and then it happened again today. So I go on my hike and I'm coming back and I park because um, I'm kind of a brat and I, and I don't like to pay for parking. So I park in this like out where I know that I don't have to pay. I get, I get back to my car and there is a car in front of me with three eights, like eight, 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 like not divided or anything. They're all together, these three numbers. So, okay, so yesterday I go to meet my friend Kathy, and she started, she's telling me that this is starting to happen for her. <laughs> she's starting to have like these weird like number things, you know, and she goes, oh, yeah, it's just a coincidence. No, it's not. It's not just a coincidence. It's the way that God, the universe, whatever it is out there, speaks to us. It's, it's like, it's almost like this, this flow, this flow of information that is coming. And I'm, I'm so sorry that this, that this YouTube is a little all over the place. I, I don't mean to do that. But I'm, I'm just toying with these things because in quantum, more than one possibility can be true. More than one, and in fact, in some ways, they're all true. In some ways, they're all true, and they're all happening consecutive, like, like incongruence where these seemingly opposite things can can be true <laughs> and it's just so interesting to me it is so interesting to me um about this and i and i don't quite have it all together 
But I was just thinking about these rocks today because I had, of course, found three of them. And of, I, I limit myself to three heart-shaped rocks on my hikes. <laughs> and I go up to the top of, of the place that I hike and I meditate. I meditated. And when I was on my way, way down the, the mountain, I swear, every, almost every rock I looked at looked like a heart. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Like everything. I was seeing hearts in all of these and all of these rocks, and I'm just like, they can't all be heart shaped. <laughs> Can they? I don't know. A lot of times I end up with more questions in the end than I have in the beginning. Anyway, I'll keep toying with these ideas. Love you guys. I'll be back. Thanks for watching.